Howdy everybody, and welcome to Minecraft Snapshot 16W32A. This is the first Minecraft 1.11 snapshot, and it has a lot of new bug fixes and some things that might be considered new features. So let's just go ahead and get started and take a look. So the first thing that's new in the 1.11 snapshots is the return of the spawn eggs for mob variants. So you see we have a bunch of spawn eggs here. So we have, you know, a donkey, we got a mule, skeleton horse, wither skeleton. We have a whole bunch of different spawn eggs for the mob variants. There's the husk, uh, zombie villager, we got elder guardian right there, zombie horse. So you have the separate spawn eggs now for all these mobs. And these were actually added in the 1.10 snapshots, but were subsequently removed and now they've been re-added. Another subtle improvement is that the slash give command will now ignore stacking restrictions. And so you can see that if I go ahead and uh, give myself 55 ender pearls. You see it has a stack of 55 ender pearls in my inventory now instead of splitting it up into stacks of 16. And this is only in creative, uh, but still kind of a useful thing. Another change is that chat warnings will now appear in the status bar instead of in the chat on the left hand side. You can see that now. It says you can only sleep at night and it appears on the status bar instead of in the chat. One subtle feature of the new snapshot has to do with creepers. Let me just show you here. So if I go ahead and spawn in a creeper, go ahead and spawn him in right here, and then hit him with a splash potion of swiftness, or another uh, splash potion, just like that. You'll see, obviously, he moves faster, but now, if I switch back into survival game mode, watch what happens when he explodes. So he's going to come over here, boom, he explodes, and then he leaves behind the a lingering version of the potion he was inflicted with. So you see there's a speed 2 potion in there. If I jump into it, I get the speed 2 effect. So creepers under the effects of potions will now, when exploded, uh, leave behind a lingering potion of that same effect. So that's kind of cool. Also new this snapshot, the way that items move upward through blocks has been greatly changed so that now the item elevator designs have been greatly simplified and are now much more consistent. So let me just show you here. Uh, here we just have a dispenser facing upward into a block and this actually functions now as a item elevator. Uh, without any losses or anything, so I'll just go ahead and put in 20 redstone in here. And you can see that the items now sort of bounce from block to block. You no longer need a trap door or a door to force their upward movement uh, initially. So that greatly simplifies these designs. And everything comes straight up through the blocks here, all the way to the top. And so we should end up eventually with uh, 20 redstone in here. And there we go. Very good. One of the many bug fixes this week is actually to overflowing inventory and so basically before this snapshot if you had a full inventory and then shift clicked a block that would result in your inventory overflowing the additional items from this crafting would be deleted so I'd lose a lot of diamonds if I shift click before but now what happens is as you can see here um, yeah the items get put in our inventory uh, and then we dropped some of the extra items so I just go ahead and get rid of some of these you can see we dropped some of the extra items and it doesn't allow us to craft any more items. So that is fantastic news. We no longer lose diamonds and redstone and iron ingots or anything when we have a full inventory and shift click. Another bug fix this week is that maps will now properly display the colors for purpur, for endstone, for bone blocks, and for the chorus fruit plant as you can see here. So purpur has sort of a purple color, chorus fruit plants are sort of a darker purple, and the bone block and the endstone bricks sort of have a sandstone or sand color to them. Also another bug fix is that when you now shift click to zoom out a map just by surrounding it with paper like this it will now scale properly and actually zoom out instead of before where it just basically glitched out the map. So definitely a good change there. Those of you who watch my things you might not know about Minecraft series will know about the following bug and that typically when you used to go to the nether when you came back, your compass would point in a different direction than your spawn point. So you see my spawn point is over there. That's the way the compass is pointing. But now they fixed that so that it still points in the same direction. So if I go ahead and go through here, go to the nether. Of course, the uh, compass doesn't work in the nether, so it's going to sort of glitch out here. But then if I go back through, you'll see that it now still points in the same direction. Yep, toward my spawn point over there instead of pointing to zero zero which is actually this way so that is a good change compasses now work when you return from the nether finally at long last the chicken now has a texture for its neck 
my life is now complete. This next bug fix is a big change for all of you who play UHC and PvP, and it's that the instant damage arrows and the instant health arrows will now work, as you can see here. That does quite a bit of damage, and then the instant health heals up quite a bit as well. Also new to this snapshot, the hunger rate has been greatly reduced this snapshot for everything except for healing. So what that means is you can travel further without having to eat now in Minecraft. Also speaking of hunger, you can now once again see how much hunger you have while riding in a boat. Also new this week, we now have block state definitions that can be used in most commands. So that makes it a little bit easier to understand how uh, blocks are being placed when you're using the command. So for instance, here I want to place a spruce fence gate facing north that is open. Um, so we have Minecraft spruce, gate, uh, spruce fence gate facing equals north, open equals true. And before you had to use numerical values to do this, so this just makes it a little bit less confusing to determine how your blocks are going to be placed. Also now, it is much less common to find a skeleton horse during a thunderstorm. So those are all the major bug fixes and changes to the game this week. As always, please do subscribe and like if you enjoyed the video. And thank you so much for watching. This has been Cub. Goodbye.